Hello everyone and welcome back to Chappie TV. I am your host to go to Chappie and for you tonight we have a special a spectacular star set of guests and a woman that you have come to know but have not yet met. So without further ado I'd like to invite my guests in Susie and Anne. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit like an Oreo sandwich. It's a bit like the cream in the middle. Okay. Right now, although I would say they they went a little they went a little light on the strip. It's like Easter cream, you know, when they dye it like at Christmas and holidays. You know what I mean? No, Diane, that that's definitely your area of expertise. Oh. Well, I've never met an Oreo I didn't like, so you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Do appreciate that. Now, tonight, what are what are we doing? What are, what are all of us doing? Well, we're joining together to introduce you to Anne. Now, Anne had just did an incredible thing for us and for women everywhere when she opened up her heart and wrote about um, her life and times before she came to become friends with us here and just the place she was at. Now, her little blog post on there has reached over... 20,000 people. <laughs> and she's also like um, really funny, so we're like working out a deal because she's funny <laughs> and I just want her on Chappie TV. Funny looking? No, no, just your sense no. of humor oh. is really sharp. Like she like comes down to the fashion pharmacy to like visit us and <clears throat> also she brings us like treats sometimes and um, you know, she usually like the best thing she leaves is like us with a laugh and a smile, and so it's just always. Really That's good. why I went up in a size of total tight is because I am and I oh, cookies. Oh, really? What <laughs> were you? Let me tell you, I've never met a cookie from me that I didn't eat twelve of. At least you got into one. Let me tell you. Can I just say that unless you gained 70 pounds, you don't go up a size in a tall time. I did, though. You know what that was from? It was from your breast augmentation up to uh, the size H. How are my secrets again? <laughs> Lord. You say you haven't even had the fried Oreos yet, Diane. I've had a lot of fried Oreos, though, in my life. <laughs> okay, well, at any rate, these lovely ladies are here to share with you the new arrivals from our amazing Susie Spectacular line that we hunted down in Vegas. And Anne is here to tell you about some of her favorite pieces from this line. We are so thrilled with this. We are so thrilled. The quality, the fit, the style, there is nothing to be compromised on in this line. Now, the sad part for a lot of you out there is going to be that they start in a size 10, 12 and go up from there. And the size 10, 12 sell out pretty quickly because if the fashion is so good everyone wants to wear it but they do what are we up to size 26 or a 4x I believe is is how generous the line goes but some of the cuts again are you know some of them run smaller some of them run a little bit roomier so even if you're kind of on the edge of that 28 or that 4x I still think you should give us a chance because I think that I think you'd love the line so you're wearing the same top two different sleeve lengths going on Two different heights of women, so you can kind of see how it works. But we're twins. But you are, yeah, how, really? Yes. Separated at birth. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. And you can say, well, she's taller, so how could you possibly be twins? I was going to say it. I was going to say it. <laughs> they just had to pull her harder and longer because oh. she didn't want to come out. So she <laughs> oh, she got stretched out. Oh. <laughs> I see. Genetics I was on time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that certainly explains a lot, you know, uh, of the difference between the two of you, even more so than the height. But really, though, to get right into it, great v-neck on these, an amazing fabric. This is a, is a very nice fabric. It's not going to pill on you. It's not going to fade on you. Great basic tunic, and it has a lot of seaming in it, almost like a princess seaming detail. So you get a great shape out of this. And it moves. It moves so it doesn't have stuff I'm going to step out so that you guys can just turn and show the ladies how you're feeling in this. Um, Do a ballerina twist. They are beautiful. Now, are you going to wear total tights this evening? Yes, ma'am. And, and tell us how you feel about that. I love my total tights. Every day. Yeah, you're 365, 365 days a year. Yes. Okay, how about you, Anne? Every day. Every day? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god, you're officially a 365 true total tighter. I'm a rinser router in the sinker, too. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, Do it share. bad if you didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, it does sound bad if you didn't know. 
at, you know, yeah, let's keep it in the context of caring for the right. toilet type. But, right. So you wash it out at night and yes. then you throw it over the shower curtain or yes. something? Yep. And, and then is it dry? Always dry in the morning. And I get fantastic. up pretty darn early. Awesome. Okay. Well, you guys step out. I'll step back in and explain my little tunic while you put on your next look. I did hear also that Wendy might be joining us in a hot moment. She's upstairs right now in the Dakota Chappie store, changing lives and serving women. Now, this is a brand new arrival I have on underneath. You know, I'm very into the moto jackets. If you watched our progressive sale two months ago, was it January, I believe, I wore this incredible denim and leather moto jacket in pretty much every single video for the progressive sale. We still have a limited number of these left now. They are completely sold out for the manufacturer. So what we have is all we're going to have, but it is amazing, genuine leather, denim, $300 retail, $300 retail on this, still available for only $99, which is incredible. Now, this sleeveless tunic that I have on underneath here, this is a brand new arrival for us. Please do keep in mind that at the Dakota Chappie store, everything that is marked to size is purely for our reference only. The one that I'm wearing right now is the 1X. As you can see, not super generous. I think maybe if this was a 1X, it would be styled as like a crop tank or something, mm -hmm. or a bra or something. I don't really know. But it's definitely fitting me exactly the way that I want to execute it for this look. So this is coming 1X, 2X, 3X. This we believe is more like a medium, so we've got medium, large, extra large, truthfully in this tunic. Great stretch, really super cute, love the, the, the neckline. And I think that little extra cut up here to just come wide through the shoulders is really nice because it's kind of covering all the little squishies or the sleeve cleavage that we call the sleevage. Okay, come back in ladies, come back in, come back in, come back in, okay. I love a dark color. How quick they can change, though. Can I just Oh, tell yeah, you? Diane. I said, you saw like, the whole thing. The whole thing. It was like I looked back at you and I looked back and they were already naked and then clothed in three seconds. <laughs> because it's so easy. They, they just so stripped bad. down to just your total type, correct? Correct. So, so there was no, no back into the dressing room for anything. They just rip it off. That's right. And just go again. Okay, well, There's I love it. There's a lot of almost naked women down here a lot of the day. You know, <laughs> you come down. I, feel like, I feel like Michael and Diane both are just immune to it. Like, when Daniel first started, he would, like, kind of look. He doesn't even look anymore. So, like, <laughs> if you're worried that the boys are checking you out, they're not looking at you, you anymore. You weren't working? I Wait, mean... Let me go back and do it again. Yeah, please look it up. It's so good. Okay. It's gotten, it's gotten a little doctor's office around here. No, it hasn't. But honestly, no, now... No, it really has. It okay, okay, no Diane. Okay. Well, Diane <laughs> never had any shame. No, not I want zero. to my strapless bra all day. Let me tell you, she does not want you to tell her business, but she will show her business all day. <laughs> hey, there you go again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well... Hopefully she's not going to run away and never come back. Now, Susie, in this incredible dark purple color. Now, everybody loves black, okay? Let me just give you a little information as to why that is. People love black because they feel like it's quote-unquote slimming, right? It's a neutral, it's a basic, it's very easy to dress, it's, it's just easy, okay? But the reason that it is slimming, if you really break that down and think about it, is because dark colors absorb a lot of light. They don't reflect light. So because of that absorption, they automatically are going to take out a lot of your dimension and a lot of your topography. You're just not going to see in a black the contrast of you against the world. But if you don't want to do all black and you don't want to wear black all the time and just go all black all day, which I love all black all day, but if you are one of those ladies that wants to incorporate a little bit more color in your life, doing these very dark, almost black colors can still provide you with that topography advantage that you want but give you a little bit of color and they're just less harsh on your skin. This purple is that perfect example. Better do a little spin for us, Susie. It pulls the purple out of your hair so beautifully. It really does. And we <laughs> love Susie's hair, neckline don't we? neckline is fantastic. Great neckline on this. Very interesting. Um, fabulous seams again. This particular designer does not waste any time or effort. They do it for you. They are so committed to working with your body instead of against it. You will find so many more seams in these designs than you will in anything else. What, Diane? <laughs> I was just going to say, you know, this is that's very modest, but at the same time, very sexy and flattering. Don't you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, there's not a lot of skin covered, but, you know, there's not a lot of left to the imagination all at the same time. Well, there's time. not, because Diane's already seen all <laughs> 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 I was probably seeing how much cleavage 
in the toilet tank. It was a very nice. Excellent point. Diane, you know, after that breast augmentation that she had at the age of oh, she is so into the cleavage. Susie right and now. I were comparison before I went to the doctor to make sure I knew what I wanted. Did you just tell me you wanted Susie? Yeah, I took a picture of her breast. <laughs> And immediately deleted it once the doctor saw it. No, okay. I still have it. You don't need people breaking in here for your cell phone, Diane. Tell me, come at me. I got my concealed carry list. Okay. Well, boobs. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. It's a rifle. Um. This is amazing on you now, and they're not that long. Like two. Like two sad beagle faces hanging off my chest. No. No, that's no. what they were. It was an augmentation <laughs> and a lift. Lift and separated, just like a leather booth GA does for you. <laughs> okay. Well, Selena and Odino taught me that. Awesome. Okay, well, back to Anne. Can we get back to Anne? Yes, yeah, Anne? so sorry, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> here she is. Now, I think hers are real, though. Well, they are. Okay, thank you. I, I, could, I couldn't confirm. I was I waiting. I had a party in Belgium confirm that. <laughs> But let's hear about this particular piece because this is again a black through the center of the body but it's got this great white thing happening through the side. This is just giving so much dimension and so much interest. Now when I showed this to you Anne on the hanger, first of all she, she, was, she was being very controlled about her purchases because she has just a few things from the Jew Code and Choppy store and so we kind of had to convince her to try it on because she was on a bit of a hiatus from shopping. Anyway, she looked at it. Yeah, see, honey, she she was on her butt. She was on the shopping hiatus. She looked at it and she said, "That's going to be too long on me, but I will try it on for you." And then she came out, and you spent like a good twenty five minutes in mm -hmm. front of the mirror, just mm -hmm. spinning and looking and spinning and mm -hmm. looking. And I, I think, in your words, you said that you had never felt so good in anything you put on. So how I never are you felt feeling? like I had a shape, and I don't know if it comes up on the camera, but it's. It just kind of comes and and goes and being a girl of size there's very few things that actually make me feel like I have a shape other than round which is a shape I learned that in kindergarten but not the shape people are talking about however yeah I just um, it was you know a little bit I mean it's not a tunic obviously it's a dress um, but I just didn't want to take it off and there was no way I was leaving the store without it because I just I loved it, but more importantly, I loved me in it and how I felt about me in it. Yay! Yay. That is so I awesome. I love this girl. We love this woman. That's amazing. I know, so he's going to want to give you a hug, too, so I'll let her step in there yeah. on that. And I'm going to steal that purple shirt you're wearing. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Okay. You should. Well, that's really great. And one thing that I really want to kind of drive home about going into these Tier 2 sizing is that I would really like... To, um, to be a part of the shaping of the perception that society has out there about a woman that, is, that has been labeled a plus size. Now, we kind of stay away from that terminology here because I feel like there's a lot of cliches that go along with it. So we like to call it um, tier two sizing. Here's my whole point. In this world and in this life, we value a lot of things that are, are big, that are on a grand scale. And there's nothing more that I love more than seeing a woman who is of grand scale walk into the room and be grandly present. So I love it when you stand tall, when you stand proud, and you use your frame that you have been given, you were uniquely and, and you, uniquely and perfectly made, to command the room and show everybody who you really are. There is such an advantage to that. And let's all take notice and celebrate you for who you were uniquely made to be. So let's just have that. <laughs> Diane. Oh my God. You know, you can always You're count so on her to just kind of take the air out of a, of a soulful moment. You're supposed to let I the doctors do remove those, Diane. Appreciate that. Okay, well, That's now, right when, you saw a sneak peek of Wendy and her get up. So we'll get back to that in the next episode. We're going to wrap this one up. Daniel's giving me the time signal. Love you guys. Dressing sizes 0 to 28 and beyond. 813 North Broadway, mine at North Dakota.